We are doing a non-commissioned officers leadership continuum. So today's uh, the start of a three-day course with petty officers from the Kaijo Jetai and United States Navy. I have 10 sailors here from the Kaijo Jetai and I've got 10 sailors here from the United States Navy. Facilitators from both nations hosting this course. We recognize in the leadership both on the U.S. Navy and in the Kaijo Jetai that good non-commissioned officers and good petty officers that have strong relationships across the, the uh, services, uh, those tend to be better leaders. Unfortunately, sometimes we start on much, much later in their career, uh, and the goal of this is really to do that much earlier in their career. The hope would be that as they grow here in Japan and in their respective services, that they'll continue to reach across the aisle and learn and grow from one another. Basically, I was chosen by uh, the CMC of CNHJ. He, his aide actually approached me with the opportunity to be an attendee of this class. And I promptly jumped on board and said, yes, I will definitely want to be part of it. I'm hoping to build a better bilateral communication to build a better and everlasting relationship with, with the Japanese Self-Defense Force. I had so much to learn, not only from the Japanese and the facilitators, but also my peers that were there. I learned so much in this than I have probably learned about the Japanese in my whole 13 years in Japan. I'll say that the most, the most value of getting with the JMFDF is having them come on board with our association, because they currently don't have one. So I would like for them to come over, if possible, to be a part of our organization, be a part of our committee, so we can learn from each other, basically. Build that bilateral relationship that we need in the junior ranks that we don't have currently. Our base and U.S. Navy base are uh, located so close, but I did not have a chance to communicate with the petty officer in U.S. Navy. I was a little bit nervous, but I really enjoyed it, yes. Discussion is uh, kind of difficult for us, especially we have a language barrier. <laughs> but um, everyone are so kind, and we try to understand each other. Very interesting. It's, um, U.S. Navy and James DF, we have similarity and differences, but since we didn't know each other, I was thinking I cannot get along with them, but after taking this course, we have lots of similarity, so I feel more familiar with them, and that makes me feel easier to cooperate with them. After I get a higher rank, like Chief Petty Officer, and then I feel more easier to do something together with the U.S. Navy. I'm <laughs> sorry. Um, I'm really happy to join this course this time and hopefully uh, we can keep this course every year so that it's not only for a chief or officers to, it is important for us petty officers to communicate each other and understand so that we can cooperate and doing something, making something good in the future. This is a, a unique experience for the Japanese side in that this is a facilitated course. So it's a course that we've asked them to kind of challenge one another's opinions. On the U.S. side, you know, getting to see a different aspect of discipline and a dis different aspect of the way uh, perhaps their counterparts in the Japanese Navy go after problems, uh, I think only strengthens their leadership toolkit. You know, in one aspect, I hope that there's a lot of networking and friendship that's born out of this. But in the other, I really think that by, you know, understanding where I sit, but having an appreciation for where you sit, um, those sailors are just going to be stronger leaders moving forward.